Hold on a second. Before you guys skip ahead, I've got some very important information to tell you. Couple things here. I've made a detailed video on the hydraulic pump, how to take it apart, put it back together, and all the components in it. If you guys are needing to go through the hydraulic pump, there'll be a video linked in the description box below. You guys can click on that link and go to that video. For the cylinders, I made a video on how to take them apart, how to put them back together, how to rebuild them, and where to get the parts from. I'll have a video that's all about the cylinders linked in the description box below as well. A couple other things here. My frame machine is an S21R frame machine. So uh, really it's an S21 frame machine. I've been told that the R on the end stands for remanufactured but even the experts are not really sure. So if you guys know, leave it in the comment section below. Last bit of important information here, you guys are on the Good Old Boys YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Here we go, guys. As you know, we're reassembling the hydraulic release valve body and solenoid. So I started putting this video together here in iMovie. Um, I was filming on a GoPro, as you guys can see. So. We don't have the best footage here, but we'll just get going and hopefully you guys can see what we're looking at. So first of all, um, I'm showing you the release valve here. You can see that there is an O-ring. I'm not sure how to zoom in on this. Here we go. Well, it's not an O-ring, but this uh, the little brown or tan ring right above the spring. So that's a seal right there. And as far as I know, you cannot get, uh, you cannot get um, seals or parts for the pump. Now I'm sure you could put a normal O-ring on there or something like that, but uh, you're kind of on your own to find parts for it because easy, the Chief Easy Liner website, they'll sell you like, I think they'll sell you like bolts, they'll sell you the solenoid for the pump, but other than that, and I think they'll maybe sell you the, um, and I'll put a screenshot of all these different parts up, but uh, they'll sell you the um, control wand with the harness. So th there's a few things like that that they'll sell you, but for the most part, they don't sell you too many of the parts uh, for the pump at least. So this is kind of part of the pump or it's not the pump. This is the release valve, I guess, hydraulic release valve. So you could see I was squishing it right there. I had to get it freed up and polish those two parts um, so you can see I'm just greasing a few of these other parts here and I apologize I don't know the technical name but um, I guess that's the valve still right there that I'm greasing uh, so we'll keep on going here um, right here I'm showing you where you put it in the unit I believe Nope, I misspoke. Sorry guys, it's very difficult to do this with a screen recording. But uh, more or less that's the valve. You guys see that it goes in the bottom of the release valve mechanism or body. It's the re release valve body. So you can see which way that goes into there. Just like that. So you push it in there and that's good to go. Next we have the cap for it. It's a Allen head or Allen. Uh, it's almost like a set screw, but uh, um, well, yeah, it's kind of just like a set screw. So you screw that in there next. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, let's see, tighten it down. Alrighty guys, so we this is so this is the top side of the valve body, the release valve body. You can see the this part I have in my hand. So the part you guys can see in my hand here, this is what actuates and moves that release valve. Um, and the solenoid uh, runs into that first. So you can see it screws in on the side with uh, with. Um, what, three holes there 
So you screw that in and you do have to set the height on that. I just set mine back to where it was when it came out of the unit. So that's ready to go. Now, uh, you guys can see we have another piece of the um, valve body here. And I believe that is the actuating pin right there. So I'm trying to get you guys a good shot of that. It's difficult. Let me see here. All right, so if I zoom in on it, Hopefully you guys can see that, but the skinnier part goes down in the middle-ish kind of hole right there. We'll zoom back out. Okay, keep going. And uh, of course I lubed it up because it was rusty and needed polished a little bit too. You could see it also had an O-ring on it and you can see I'm testing it right there with the uh, Allen wrench. It's got some pretty good uh, pressure to it so all right now I'm lubing the block we have the other piece now the other piece you've got the longer side which is um, on my index finger and the shorter side which is uh, obviously the other side there which I'm showing you and you can see there's this little um, little ball that's in there on the short side of the actuator there so I'm lubing it all up and the short side, so you can see the, what I'm pointing to here, you can see the short side of the actuator goes into the block and then that little ball that's stuck in the actuator is what uh, it rests on top of the um, release that I'm pointing to right here. So slip that in there and what you're going to do is again the short side short side of the actuator goes in there like that the ball is towards the bottom then this threaded actuator goes on top of the um, non-threaded actuator and you can see me actuating it right there and here's a better shot so this is what's supposed to happen here it's all put together the solenoid and presses down on this to release the hydraulics yeah, so, so what happens see, that's is exactly what the solenoid exactly does that. when it's being depressed and that's what releases the pressure on your uh, cylinders alrighty guys so now we're gonna be mounting it back onto the hydraulic pump itself here just cleaning it off we got a gasket that goes on there that we're wiping off okay um, right here this is the return valve that I'm spraying right here, or the return line, I should say. Sorry, sorry, actually, that's the high pressure, high pressure line. So, sorry if I'm confusing you guys here, but this straw, that silver straw that's coming off of the valve body here, that's your return line. So, what I'm spraying here is actually the high pressure line. So, that's where pressure comes out and the pressure goes through uh, this 90 degree angle part where it hooks up to your hydraulic lines and that's what provides the pressure. So I slip it on there. Um, what do we have here? Four bolts. So you have to put these four bolts in there before you put the solenoid on. So you're just gonna torque those down Okay. Alrighty guys. So here is the solenoid. Alright. That little shiny brass or copper looking part that my thumb is on right now. That's the actuator on the solenoid. So I'm just wiping this down. There's nothing too much to the solenoid. Your solenoid is either going to work or it's not. So you can see right here, this is what the solenoid is. So if you're missing uh, your solenoid, you can figure that out. It's also on the Chief uh, Easy Liner website if you guys are looking for that. Also, I want to point out here before I forget or skip past it, there's a ground wire in there 
that's just not hooked up to anything. So I believe I'll be hooking that up later here in this clip. So, but I just wanted to make sure to mention that. Um, let's see, what am I pointing to? Bolt right there. And it's been a while since I've shot this video, guys. So I, I apologize. I don't know exactly everything that's going on here. So I'm putting in a couple, uh, couple more screws that go under the solenoid, as you guys could see. So you have to put those in there, obviously, before the solenoid goes on. So that's actually what that ground wire attaches to. So if you guys look closely, you can see where the ground wire goes from being loose to bolted down right here. So that's where it goes. It goes on those four bolts there. There's nothing else to it really. I'm lubing up the main bolts that hold the solenoid itself on there. Those did come loose on me after a while. Of course, I've greased everything up so it'll come apart easy but you really got to torque those small bolts down on the solenoid there something else that's important to note here uh before you put your solenoid on there's the threaded actuator and then the non-threaded actuator with the little um ball kind of uh pressed into it or whatever i'll put a screenshot of what i'm talking about here on the screen for you guys but uh you need to make sure those are lined up because obviously one's threaded and one's just a dowel pin so they can spin 360 degrees so just make sure those are lined up before you put the solenoid on or it won't work right so this here was the high pressure outlet that i was talking about this is the single outlet on the pump it goes into your high pressure lines and uh, that's what provides the pressure for all of your hydraulics on the frame machine Okay, right here you can see I tested it. So you guys could see me testing the pump with my thumb there. Obviously that's not a good test. So I ended up hooking the pump back up to the hydraulic lines and there still wasn't enough pressure. So I ended up having to go through the pump and uh, there's a couple areas in the pump that uh, there's certain parts that break that you actually can replace. Uh, so we're gonna be going through that in the next video. Uh, which will be linked in the description box below. The video after that is going to be on the hydraulic cylinders. That'll also be linked in the description box below. Uh, and then uh, in the cylinder video, we'll be going over where to get your uh, hydraulic rebuild kit from. So um, if you guys are interested, go down to the description box. That's where all the videos and information will be. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out that description box below. Again, lots of good information and other videos down there. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Woo.